The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the leader command or what we call multi-leader. Now uh, I'm going to start by going to my home tab here and just drawing a rectangle on the screen and that's what I'll be attaching the leaders to. So here's my object that I want to put a leader to and so what I want to do is go over here and pick on the annotate tab. Now you don't actually have to do that you can also pick on a multi-leader or a leader right here but I'm going to pick on the annotate tab which takes me to a panel that's devoted just to leaders. I'm going to choose multi-leader and I'm just going to snap onto my object and pick a point and type box box and then press close text editor. Alright so what was created is just a standard leader. Uh, that was whatever the default leader. It's actually called standard. And that's what it gives you. Now let's look at what a standard leader looks like. If we come up here onto the panel and we pick on this down arrow, it opens the multi-leader style manager. Standard is highlighted, so if we choose modify, you'll see that there are three tabs. If we pick on leader format, uh, the type of leader we have is called a straight leader. Uh, as opposed to say a spline leader that would be a curved leader like we might use on an architectural drawing. The arrowhead size is defaulting to 0.18. That's our arrow right here. The break size, which is the gap that we have in here, is defaulting to 0.125. The leader structure, this is called a, a two-point constraint leader and what that means is we pick our start point and we pick the point where we want our landing, this straight line right here, to, to be on the drawing so we only need two points. You can go up to multiple points if you need to. Uh, the, there's a landing which is this horizontal line we see right here. Um, it's defaulting to 0.36, that's its length. And then everything else on that one we don't need to mess with. Let's go to content. Alright, so the multi-leader type we get, we're getting multi-line text right here. So it edits like multi-line text whenever we need to change it. It's defaulting to a text height of 0.18 inches. Okay, so that's our standard default leader. I'm going to cancel this. What if we wanted to make a custom leader? Well, what we would do is come back to our multi-leader style manager. In fact, let me close that and just remind you again. What you do, you come up here to your leader panel, select on that arrow, take you right into this, and select new. Now, it's going to start with a copy of the standard, which means it's going to take all of the default settings that you have in the standard. So I'm going to name this one Balloon that's a lot of times what we call the kinds of leaders we use on mechanical drawings. Uh, it's going to be a leader line that has a circle with a number inside of it. That's what the balloon looks like. And then I'm going to select continue. Alright, so it's going to start with all the defaults that were in the standard leader. So I'm going to set my arrowhead size to 0.25 to start. So I'm going to have a little bit larger arrowhead. The leader structure I'm going to keep at 2, but the landing distance I'm going to set to 0.25 and press enter and I don't need to make any more changes of that. And then on content, I'm going to change this multi-leader style to something called a block. Okay, so I'm going to choose the block setting and um, AutoCAD comes with a few blocks in it already in the multi-leader. I can choose like a hexagon or a triangle or a circle or a slot. I'm going to select on circle. And so what's going to give me right up here is a circle. It's also going to give me what's called a, an attribute. It's going to let me type in a number that I want to go in there. Now one thing I know about this block already is that the circle that AutoCAD provides is 0.25 in diameter and the text height here is 0.18 and so what I want to do is probably double the size of that and so I'm going to give that a scale factor of 2. So since the circle has a diameter of 0.25 if I put 2 in here it's going to multiply all those settings by 2. So let's go back to our structure, let's look at our leader format we've got everything. Uh, I believe we have everything set that we need so let's just go ahead and pick OK. Alright so here's our balloon. We select on the balloon style and pick set current and then we can close this. Now the next time we need a multi-leader we come up here and pick on this tool and because we've set the balloon to be our current style that's what we're going to get. So I pick my first point. I just move out a ways and select the second point. Remember it's only going to take two points at that point it's going to take me into the attribute which is the number that's going to be inside my circle and it says enter tag number I'm going to type 1 
and then pick OK. And it builds that leader based on that. Now let's let's go the other opposite direction. I'm going to pick on multi-leader. I'm going to select here, pick out in this direction, and this time I'm going to type 2 and pick OK. And you can see that it will put a leader out. It can go in either direction depending on which direction you pick. All right, so let's look at a different type of leader. I'm going to start with the balloon, but I'm going to create a new style. And I'm going to call this a uh, split balloon. All right, and the split balloon is going to have two entries. It's going to have two numbers. Sometimes what we want our drawing, we want the part number on top, and we want the number required in the assembly on the bottom. And that's how I'm going to use this. So I'm going to pick split balloon, pick continue. And the only change I'm going to make to that is I'm going to come over here to my third tab and under multi-leader type, I'm going to pick block, but I'm going to pick on here. I'm going to pick what AutoCAD calls a detail callout. That's going to give me two numbers. Now the prompt is going to say view number and sheet number, but you can interpret that however you want. In my case, my top number is going to be my part number. My bottom number will be the number required in the assembly. And I'm going to keep everything else the same and select OK and I'm going to pick split balloon and set that current and then close this. So the next time I choose on the multi-leader command it's trying to snap just to there I can turn my object snaps off and just select in here someplace. I'm going to pick right here and now I have two prompts under my attributes. So let's say that this is part number one. I want that to be the top number and that there are three of these required in the assembly so I'm going to type three and select OK and it builds that that particular uh, leader style for me. So as you can see, I'm going to pick on this. Sorry, pick there. I've we start with the standard style right here. Uh, we can make custom styles. We can assign those just by setting them current as needed. These are the types of balloons that you'll be able to create. Uh, whenever you start your project uh, in Chapter 11, which is on uh, multi-view, I'm not, so, I'm sorry, mechanical working drawings. Now, I wanted you to notice, see how much larger the circle got over here at because remember this is based on 2x, but because we had to uh, fit two numbers in here, it actually expanded the size of this. So you could come back and change this this particular. Uh, uh, block style to have a different scale to it. 